Oh, it's just another tutorial on how to how to make some money. Like you know how you have this square, and if you move it around, and if you hit some coins or something like that, you get some money. So it's just simple hit testing, if you know what that means. So all I have here is an Action Script two file with you know thirty frames a second, and this square I've made it so that I can move around move it around with the arrow keys. I'll just show you what it does right now. Control Enter to test it. So there you go. It's moving around. I might just make it smaller actually. Just quickly, I'll make it smaller. There we go. So, if you test it, you can see it moves around. The arrow keys, of course, you can't see the arrow keys, but I'm telling you, so you 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 have to trust me. If you don't know how to do that, you'll have to check out one of my other tutorials, you know, on how to move it around. All right. So now we'll make the money. Now to make the money, of course, you can just um, go here to the rectangle tool and click and hold. If you don't have the oval tool, and we'll just quickly quickly click, click the oval tool, and We'll change the color because it, we don't want it to be the same color. Well, let's make it black because you know money is normally black. Now nah, we'll make green, dark green. Here we go. So there's a huge little circle. So if we go up here now and we click on the selection tool, and if you select all of that and press F8 to convert it to a symbol, make sure it's a movie clip, and make sure its registration is centered. And we will call that money. And press enter so now we have a movie clip called money so all we have to do now is firstly click on this square and you know here down here where it's this instance name quickly name it S Q U A R E square you can name it anything you want but just if you want to follow this tutorial properly just name it square you know because it's going to affect the rest of it and now just click the money movie clip and press F9 it opens up the actions for that movie clip now Type in on clip event enter frame. I'm not going to put the code in the description because there's not that much of a code there anyway. So tab all that in on clip event enter frame. You need to open close parentheses. So in, inside that you type if hit test. Make sure the capitalization of the odd second T is correct. So hit test and then open parentheses underscore root dot um, what do we call it? We call it square. So if the square hits hits this, oops, sorry, if the square hits this, which is the movie clip, then perform the following function. So after you've written that, you close the parentheses and then you open the curly brackets and then the close curly brackets. So in this code, in this area here, we are going to type in the code. For what should happen if the square hits this um, money movie clip? So now I'm just going to press F9 and close the actions. We need to make a counter so that we can see how much money we have. So what I'm going to do is quickly go here and click on the text tool. And once I've done that, you can see that down here it's a static text. Text if it doesn't, it'll be one of these. So I'm just going to select dynamic text, and I'm going to draw out like a rectangle. And I'm just going to click the selection tool up here. And now for that, once just select the dynamic text field, and for where it says VAR VAR down here, I'm just going to type in money, right? And make sure it's you know all lowercase. So now if you click in the frame and press F9, we'll open the actions for the frame, and we're just going to type in money equals zero so you have zero money in your bank right now so now if you just test the movie I know we haven't coded anything but if you just test the movie by pressing control enter we can see that we have zero money here right and yeah but we haven't made what happens if you hit the money so yeah we don't, you shouldn't be expecting anything to happen hopefully and now if you just click on the money movie clip so we just click on the money movie clip and press F9 again inside this bit of code inside this if statement we type in underscore root dot money plus equals 10. So if the square hits this money movie clip, the, our money should go up by 10 bucks, right? So that's what we want to happen. I'm just going to press F9 to close that and then control enter to test the movie clip, right? So you can move your square. You have zero money to start off with. And bingo. Oh, no. But our money just keeps going up because this... You take you're hitting the money movie clip and you're getting ten bucks every time you hit it, but the thing is that the money doesn't disappear. 
so we'll need to make the money disappear all right so if we just click on the money movie clip again and press F9 and just after this line of code I'm just going to press enter and type in unload movie this so what this does is once you once you add 10 to your bank account it unloads this movie so it just doesn't keep on going because you know you don't want to be richer than Bill Gates going to cause a bit, a bit of havoc in this world anyway so I'm just going to press F9 again and control enter to test and as soon as we hit hit it the movie clips disappeared and you have 10 bucks right so if you want more money if you want more coins you know just select that and then just control C control V you know copy it a few times the more times you have the more money you could have so now you should have 40 bucks at so 10 20 30 and 40 there you go and if you want to make it that you have to have 40 bucks to you know do to par the level then only then only only if you have 40 bucks you can par the level then we can do that but it's going to take a bit more coding if you if you have the stamina you can keep on going here we go so i'm just going to click in the frame again press f9 and just before the money i'm just going to press enter and press and um, type in stop stop and then open parentheses close parentheses and then a semicolon to end the statement again i'm going to press f9 now we need to create something that will recognize that okay we've we've got 40 money and then um uh, we have sorry we've got 40 money we've got 40 dollars so now you can go on to the next you know go on to the next frame which is going to be our u in frame actually let's just create the u in frame first um i'm just going to click on the second frame here and i'm going to press f7 so you, we've created a blank new keyframe and i'm just going to go to this text tool and select static text at the bottom i'm going to draw out a okay wait it doesn't matter just type in you know you win and i'm just going to make it bigger you can do what you like with you can do what you like there and now just go back to the first frame now we need to create a create some code that will test you know have you got 40 bucks or not and if you do you should go to the next frame so I'm gonna start. I'm gonna do this with the square movie clip. So if I click on the square movie clip, movie clip, and press F9, the actions for the square opens up. You know, like this is the stuff that we use to move the square around. You can pause the video and copy it. And if you haven't already been lazy bum, all right, you can copy it in. Here we go. Now, if you want to test, you know, have you got forty bucks in our bank? I'm just gonna type in again. If open parentheses underscore root dot money and here we instead of equals 40 that's not going to work because that's just how scripting and coding works you can't have equals 40 because then you're telling it that money equals 40 no if you want to test if it is equal to 40 then you've got to have two equal signs so if underscore root dot money equals equals 40 close parentheses open sorry only one open curly bracket and then close curly bracket and then just type it in the middle underscore root dot go to and stop you can like see it come up down here just underscore root dot go to and stop two because that we, we want it to stop at the second keyframe then close that parentheses so here we go if you press control enter to test it we get 10 bucks 20 bucks 30 bucks we still haven't won but as soon as we get the 40 bucks we win here we go so you must be happy that's the first game i've won anyway so there is how to make a simple game you can all you can of course add some buttons and you know, try it try again play again you can make it a bit harder than that that's a bit too easy you know it's all up to you so thanks for watching